had to switch over to 4k 60 because this has got to be some of the most stunning scenery I have ever seen this is where I am I'm at what's called the shaman's panel out on the west end I'm just gonna walk down the rock base here kind of give you an idea of where I'm at That's the hike. There's the notice. You gotta circumnavigate that and you wanna be sure and do this. Not in the rainy season. And bring your skills. If you don't know how to climb, don't come here. Everything here is for a purpose. And I believe this is, I was told this is ancestral burial land. The Anastasi would bury their dead up in these rocks and these crevices and that and uh, Where if we see Bones or anything like that. We're supposed to leave them alone if We see any artifacts. We're supposed to leave them alone And just to be up here is beautiful enough I'm really honored because I know that These petroglyphs are said to have been here from 1200 AD and before. Some have said as long as 10,000 years. I'm just going to climb a little higher. I'm trying to get this back as far as I can so you get some perspective because this is the shaman's panel. It starts in this region. Here we see several different types of anamorphs. The, the men or the humanoids have these strange heads or headdresses. It's very surreal looking stuff. Very weird. When I get close to them, you can see them better. And there's an elk. There's another human. There's another anamorph animal, looks like a ram, ram. And all these humans have these pointy heads with the side ears. That's a strange thing. Why would you draw yourself like that if you're human? That sort of human. And there you can see, everybody keeps telling me that's feet or a representation of hands. And then there's more anamorphs. You got some in the middle here that I have no idea what those are and I wish people would quit touching them because they're wearing them out. They've interrupted the story. And imagine if you knew how to read it from left to right, this probably left some vital information for you. But let me start back here at the top again. So this is the largest set of petroglyphs I've ever seen. Not that I'm an expert. But up here it starts with this humanoid. And then these humanoids and then there's that little dude right up there there we go now I'm seeing them in the viewfinder that looks like one of these alien headed things and a kid a child but again if that's man and there's tons of anamorphs here Everybody says this is a foot. I don't get that that's a foot. That looks like more like a container to me. And again, a child and another humanoid. These are anamorphs. And then look, we go up. So where I went down the panel and showed you before in, in this way, right? Look at here, the boy and his dad. There's another animorph with really long horns. There's several here, like dogs, another humanoid, more four-legged creatures with a tail, more humanoids, more humanoids. Now, my question is, is if those are humanoid, and look, we've got five fingers, we've got a head, we've got feet with five toes. So that's a representation of man to me. I mean, what the hell is that? That is not man. Man does not have a head like that. Man has a head like that. And as we continue farther down, again, there's more Animorphs here. 
time and people touching and gotta be greedy and all this other stuff you know Americans but just look at the details and the animals that are already lost so just not to play spoiler here because this is going to take me a while to get them all on photo I'm going slowly down the hill here look at this party what the hell is going on here I'm going to start back up here at the top give you some relation and I'm going to go from left to right. There's more animorphs walking down the hill. Here's more on the hunt. This is what they mean about these weird celestial being things with the weird heads. Again, I'm going to point out because you get a much better definition with this dude. Right there. How can that be humanoid? Explain that to me. Humanoids up there have round heads. Five toes and five uh, fingers in their paws. So... What's the difference, if you follow me? And there's more of these humanoids with the strange side to the weird head. And this is, a, this is one of the ones that I saw on the other side. They got multiple bronze on their head. Here's my, all these Animorphs again. It's like these Animorphs were down here harvesting. There's a big elk that's wearing out, but you can tell his horns. And again, more. It's everywhere that a person can stand i'm going to actually back up because this panel is well over so far from here to here is easily 16 feet more like 12. let's call it 14. then from the top representation there's a foot way up top there to do that from here how in the heck did they do that that's 14 feet to the ground down there. You follow me? Then you got more down here. Okay, let's start again from the very top. We go down the wall. Here's the weird headed dude. Here's a huge anamorph. You can barely make out in regular light. And then there's the elk that I'm trying to show you. He's really faded. I wish people would quit touching him. But this is supposed to be good omens for hunts. This is where the natives would come rub these because they were taking the advice, the shamans would come up here and pray to this. <coughs> then down here, there's more, see these humans? What's with the horns on that guy? And that's not a round head, that's a round head with these people. You see what I mean? Then we got strange representations, looks like mapping, again, with other river routes and so on and so forth. Speaking of which, I gotta kinda watch the weather. We're gonna have to get out of here. But here is more animorphs down at the bottom. So from very large rock, because that rock will stay there, all the way to the top figure is probably 14 feet that they were able to carve on. Now that's the highest one and looking at the same level down the horizon of the cliff. I don't think you're gonna see any more. I'm gonna face this backwards and try to keep steady here. Hold on, I gotta do some down climbing. Then I'm going to start my picture sets. There's a humanoid there next to the elk that I keep saying is the elk. So again, the height relationship is still well over 10 feet for the height of the panel. Then you got the spirals again down here. There's more way down here. There's anamorphs all the way down to the bottom. There's the little two hoof marks that you see. There's the deer with the long horns. They're probably antelope. And here we are again. The strange headed weird looking dudes with the square chest and these strange looking ears. And the most fascinating of all, look at all those petroglyphs. There's got to be at least 200 petroglyph figures on these walls. There we're starting with this cross again, humanoid with a round head, way at the end, so on and so forth. And it just keeps going. It's I don't know what's up with this guy, but he's got like six arms and a head. Then there's a uh, animal with a beak and four legs. There's another animal with a beak and four legs. Then there's those strange humans. There's more rivers. You can tell that they're they're trying to pictograph a river, and it looks like snakes. Looks like all sorts of stuff. But it, it, it is literally you could spend days up here analyzing these these figures. I, I, this is just blowing me away. This is the full shaman panel. 
I am standing away from it probably 16 feet. It starts there in the light where the streaking starts at the top. It's actually over about four feet more with a tall figurine and an anamorph goat. There's even more anamorphs I'm seeing up top here. There's one way up top. Why? And who put that there? That is incredible. How? They must have had ladder structures and stuff up here to the system. But I'm guessing with the way the, the rocks are laid out, I'm guessing this is actually where the dead were either laid or um, honored and probably left. I'm told that this is definitely an area that I was told that if I see anything up here, leave it. This is Native American territory. So we're going to work our way down. And I'm actually going to start the, the pictures of the pictographs. I need to get these registered. I can't even see it. Look how many more there are over there. I'll walk down and end the movie and then start on my photo sets. They curve all the way down inside the rocks here. Human figurines. Round heads, mind you. Then more of the swirls. Then just dozens of animals and rivers and snakes and looks like just regular cows even over there. Then we got these humans again. Okay, you got a human here. I can see that. He's got a round head. What is that guy? You see what I mean? And just a huge complicated story. And you can tell where everybody came here as the shamans to rub the whole panel. There's anamorphs that are rubbed down because apparently it was a shaman that would stand here and rub it. Because all this stuff is rubbed down in one local spot. And you can actually see where it's worn, where his feet were. This is a well-defined path. I walked up a path that was constructed in 1200 AD. I'm literally blown away by that. This is just mind-bending. And they continue down the rock and there are even anamorphs down at the entryway. Only on the one face. I looked all over this rock, but that's not there. So I'm going to end this movie for now because we're well over 12 minutes. But we're just going to go back and pan a little bit more. So I've got a lot of this for Sherry. And uh, I want to make sure we get it all. Just everything that we can. And it's in 4K to catch your four all the detail that you need. If anybody wants these images separately, you know YouTube chokes them down. So I'm going to get the uh, pictures out and do one like that too. This was well worth my time. Thanks for watching. I'm so glad I took the effort to come out and show this to you. I still have about 50 feet of canyon to explore too. I think we're going to find the grave sites. Thanks for watching. Peace.